And coach, we find ourselves due east from our nation's capital at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. A few minutes ago, it sounded like the 4th of July on the National Mall as the hometown Redskins were introduced to this sold-out crowd. They are set to go as their guys will match up with Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. The kicker, Dustin Hopkins, set to get this one going. And we are underway from FedEx Field. On the return, here's a dangerous Cordero Patterson. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. the intended receiver and that'll bring up second down you get a tight end like this and you know he's used to dishing out punishment but here he's the one that has to absorb the contact and as a result unable to hold on to the football brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten They'll run it here this is james Wayne, and he'll take it ahead to the 28 yard line It'll be a gain of seven, and they get it back to a third and three. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. They do go for it. It's Brady. Looks for White, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Now the first carry for Adrian Peterson. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. The safety Patrick Chung is the one who makes the stop. for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Redskins with their first trip to the red zone thus far. First and 10 right at the 20. First down, here's the run with Peterson. And he's gonna fight his way forward here for a modest game. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Hey, on, 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 on. Fifteen, yeah. They'll try the air now with Smith. Flushed out right. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Even after more than a decade in the league, Smith still one to account for with his legs as he picks up a first. Peterson. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. 
But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. On second down, here's Smith. Steps away to his left. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Jonathan Jones that time, the one who got a hand in, knocked it away. They had a good chance to get the first points of the game on the board, but what a great job defensively getting a hand in there and knocking it away and preventing that first touchdown. Let's go. After an Let's incomplete go. pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now Smith on third and goal. And that is caught by the tight end, Reed. Touchdown, Washington. Jordan Reed, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Redskins have taken a first-quarter lead. Hopkins with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Here's Hopkins now out to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. Tony Michelle, his first carry. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading the play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be tackled right on the midfield logo. A good run as he works his way for nine that time, and it'll leave him with a third and just a few inches. On third down, it's White. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. Push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Now they'll throw with Brady. Open man left side is Gronkowski. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The familiar refrain, Brady to Gronk for the New England first. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide it. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. Go. Right 
Brady to throw on second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. They'll try to pound it in with Hill. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Jeremy Hill, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And an alley to run. He's at the 50. The 30. 20. 10. Touchdown, Washington. As his guys are in for six. And the Redskins are able to strike for six. Well, he made the right choice by result, but a little bit surprising because now with touchbacks coming back to the 25 instead of the 20, when guys fielded that deep in the end zone, I think most coaches want him to take a knee. Yeah, it's resulted in more kneel downs. Not right there. Extra point good by Hopkins, and that makes the score 14 to 7. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. That's fielded in the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. The drive starts with a run by White. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Pernell McPhee in there on the stop. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Now Brady goes underneath here to White. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A minute 57 to go in this first half. Back to FedEx Field following this short break. Brady going to try and throw on third down. This is White on the screen. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. And a loss of three to bring up four. Here we go on fourth down now with Brady. He's going to air it out deep for Hogan. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by DJ Swearinger. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down the score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. They'll run it down, out of the gun. And he stopped immediately there. 
Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is, and really a lot of the time they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance, they're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Hey, on, 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 on. On first and ten, Smith. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. It was the veteran Devin McCourty. He got a hand in there to break that one up. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. On second and ten, Smith caught on the right side lead. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Here's Smith now on second down. Complete. Richardson has it. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead, as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Smith. And oh, it'll be intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. So after the INT, it's Brady. Going deep here for Adelman. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by the linebacker, Zach Brown. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. He was looking for Edelman there. The final shot here before break. Smith, he'll rifle this one deep right side. And that is incomplete. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. Okay, coach, appreciate it. A one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Redskins in a good spot. They've got the lead. They will get the football as the second half gets underway. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And here come the Redskins now. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. The third quarter starts with a run by Peterson. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. 
Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And hard running's gonna get him over the 40 to the 42. It's a four yard pickup there and it leaves him with third and five. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, gonna make that defense stand up and stop them. From the gun on third down, Smith flush to his right, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Dante Hightower able to drop him for a loss of 12, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Tressway now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And now Edelman. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the pass will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because no, that's, that's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker boards? Yeah, those two. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it on the ground, wide again. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Throwing is Brady on third down. And right side caught Hogan. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Brady fighting Hogan on third down, and the Patriots able to convert. Now a play fake here on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. As we inch closer to the regular season, I'm just peering down at some of the preseason records. Right now, Ravens 4-0, Bengals, Panthers, Cardinals, all 3-0. I guess my question is, what stock do you put in these preseason records? Well, the easy answer is nothing, because <laughs> the preseason doesn't really matter. But some organizations do put more stock in it than others. Some of them want to win every preseason game. Others don't worry about that at all. Intel has told me that only one team has won the Super Bowl after going 0-4 in the preseason, and that was in a strike year, I believe, when Washington did it. So for the most part, you just don't want to go winless in the preseason. But remember this, the Browns and the Lions both went 4-0 preseasons, then they went 0-16 in the regular season. Speaking of winless teams, Eagles and Falcons both winless right now could be Super Bowl contenders. I still think that they're going to be, whether they go winless or not. It'll be a loss of one, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Boy, not deterred from those first two failed attempts. They're going to go a third time here on fourth down. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And the Redskins do get to him. He goes down for a sack. Ryan Kerrigan in there to bury him for a loss of 11. First down throw, it's Smith. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. 
The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Well, it looked like a quick hitter, a three-step drop, but when it's not there, what do you do? He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle, and he does so and picks up positive yardage. On second down, Peterson. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, that's almost a tendency breaker. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now at FedEx Field. It's the Redskins with the football and the lead as we start the fourth. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll run for it with Peterson. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game. And they'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Adrian Peterson punching it in from a yard away. And the Redskins find a way to stretch their lead. with the extra point and it's now 21 to 7. Here's Hopkins now out to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. So the Patriots coming out now. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. They start the drive on the ground with Hill. And a short gate across the 15 to the 17-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they were hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. They control the clock, they control the ball. And that way, you often control the game. And they finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 34. And you talk about great blocking up front. I don't think he was even touched, not a finger on him, until he was brought down to the ground. I think we heard the whoosh as he went by, didn't we? Right through the gap. No one there, as you outlined, no one touched him at all. A free sprint into the secondary. Yeah, that's what you call breaking free right there. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. No gain on the play there. Second down. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jonathan Allen able to get in there and drop him for a two-yard loss. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to go down again. Pernell McPhee. He's the one to get in this time. And back-to-back -back sacks are going to bring up a fourth down. 
And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. By 20. Now Brady got to have this one. This will be caught inside the 10. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. Toss. He's got room to run past the 20 as he's all the way up to the 24-yard line. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. That's a football play right there. That takes me back a little bit. Toss sweep to the right. Get it to your back. Get a lot of people out in front. Control the line of scrimmage. Wide receivers blocking downfield. It almost feels like half the crowd is in front of him. Getting it down to the secondary. They have a tough time getting him down. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. now Smith going for the deep ball and he's unable to grab it thought he might have had position couldn't hold on third down despite the lead here in the fourth they're still taking shots not content to sit on this lead at all and to me it raises the question of what's right in this game nowadays do you sit on the ball and run it because you have enough of a lead or do you try and extend it because you always feel like the other team can come back? Extend it. Have some fun. On the ground, it's Thompson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this across the 40 and up to about the 42-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. They stay on the ground. This is Marshall again. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. It'll be a loss of seven on the play. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play of this ball game. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Baltimore. Crab cakes will be waiting for us, partners. We head to the airport. Heck yeah.